G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today we're going to take a look at a video from Marnie, your personal wing girl, who I think is a dating coach or a female dating coach um, who aims um, her advice at men. So let's just see how laughable this can be. I haven't watched much of this. I haven't seen much of her stuff, um, but I have been told that she's a bit of a grifter. Okay, today we're going to talk about why women come back after rejecting you, ghosting you, or even breaking up with you. Why they keep returning. So I keep getting asked this I'll tell you why, because they weren't able to find a better option. Uh, they kept you on the back burner. They put you on the bench. You're warming the bench for them while they're out looking for another uh, sucker uh, to try and take her on. They might feel like they can do so at the time. They might be getting gassed up by a Chad or Tyrone or a Brycey or a Stevo um, while you're going out with them. They then think that their value is higher than what it really is. They realize they go out there, they get pumped and dumped, and they go, oh, that wasn't very good. Let me try and get back with you. That should be the end of the video. That's why they do it. But let's see um, her drag it out for 14 minutes. Question, uh, it's very often. Marnie, this girl I was dating broke up with me, but now she wants to get back together. Or Marnie, this woman I liked a lot, we were talking for a while, rejected me a couple of months ago, but now she's suddenly starting to text me again. Why is this happening? Most men can't make sense of this strange female behavior. So as your wing girl, I'm gonna to explain to you exactly why she comes back after turning you down and whether you should give her another chance. So pay close attention and keep watching. My name is Marnie and from here on out, I'm going to be your very own personal wing girl every week it's my job to give you the no BS insider info about what women really want versus what they say they want, plus the most effective methods to win over any woman you like. So just hit that subscribe button now so you never miss a video again. So speaking of things that keep coming back, let's introduce you to today's video sponsor, Keeps, the product that helps you keep her. In addition, keeps.com, that is a good job you got or a fun vacation. Straight up, you know, like straight into a, absolutely shameless isn't it like she's selling dating cage and then she goes straight into a sponsor before even talking about it so guys mark my words on this i'll never put sponsors in my videos no matter how big i get i just um massive sellout vacation you want or maybe you've been hitting the gym and you posted a progress picture online like you're doing good right all of a sudden She's in your text messages. She's asking you how you're doing. She's complimenting you, even suggesting that you guys can hang out or catch up over a drink. It's a tale as old as time. But why does this happen? Well, she might have noticed you're doing just fine without her. In fact, you're doing better without her. So you're doing exactly. So don't talk to her. Don't let her back into your life. She won a bar of you. She rejected you. She dumped you. Whatever it is. People fall back into this habit all the time. I can tell you, nothing good ever comes back through going through the rubbish, whether you're a man or a woman. You know, digging through the trash, um, you know, someone's dumped you or you've dumped them and then you're chasing them or they're chasing you again after two months. Just um, people just need to know when to move on because you've broken up for a reason. Doing really well. And that caused her to regret her decision to turn you down or break up with you. She might be thinking she missed out or that you're correcting the things that she didn't like before, that you're actually a better catch than she previously thought. Oh, wow. So she's suddenly creeping back into your life, hoping to get a second chance with you. Plus- And then we know what we say? We say kick rocks, you slaza. We're not interested. Booted us out, that's what happens. As I always say, women are drawn to guys who are thriving in life this is a good thing guys who are working hard and making things happen that is a powerful attraction trigger that makes women want you really bad and you know this already and even if a woman has rejected you in the past when she sees thrive in your life it creates feelings of attraction in her that's why i tell guys that if a woman turns you down today don't beg or plead her to change her decision don't try to convince her in any way to give you another chance that's just going to kill her respect and her attraction for you that's good advice the best way to deal with this situation is to move on and improve your life right hit the gym work on your business or your job or just you in general hang out with friends become more social get involved in things meet other women make progress live well without her most often than not and then keep your life well without her in it ever and never respond to them 
um, when they try and do come back around. Because that does happen. You guys know what it's like. So I think you've been on the dating apps and um, you've gotten, you've met someone. Um, you saw them for a couple, two or three months. Fizzled it out. Either you fizzled it out, they fizzled it out. Whatever. All right? Just drifted, drifted off. 12 months later, you get a text message from them. And you know why that is? Because they've just broken up with somebody else. So they're just trying to rebound on you. Like you're just a, a bit of a time waste most of the time. You know, just something to, to help someone lick their wounds when, when the person that they stuffed you off for um, has dumped them and dropped them on their ass. That's generally the reason. Guys and girls do this. I've done it. I, I've had um, things not work out with somebody and then you jump straight on your phone and you're scrolling through your phone, right? And you're going, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, remember that? Who's that chick? Oh, yeah, that's the chick from whatever. You still got the number in your phone, so you message them. Just hoping to see if you could throw a net out and get an easy catch. That's why. This is going to create a deep sense of regret in her decision, or even just like have her second guessing and get her heart racing back to you. What you do is your call. Chances are you wouldn't even be attracted to her by then, and you'll have more other dating options yep. to choose from, right? Okay, reason number two, she can't find somebody better. It's human nature to think that the grass is greener on the other side. So many times a woman might reject you or break up because she thinks that she can do better. You know, online makes you think you have all these options, but then she goes out there and realizes that there isn't someone better for her. It makes her realize your actual worth and causes her to regret it. And then she comes back, running back to you, hoping to have that second chance. And this happens a lot these days because as i just said social media and dating apps have created a comparison culture and both when with both men and women fall for it you could be dating an amazing girl and then you can you see other people online you think oh, i have options i can do better so you leave that woman and you go search for somebody better only to regret that decision this is generally guys don't really do that um, i've heard of it happening but mostly it's women. And it's not women going and looking for somebody better. They've already got somebody on the back burner. They've already been talking to somebody. They're already in the wings waiting. Um, they fuck you off and that person's like their instant person they're going out with straight away, like that same day. They're not going out to then look for them. Uh, they've already got them. This is why when it comes to dating, it's so important to know what you want. It applies to both men and to women. If you don't know the type of person you want to be with and the kind of relationship that you want to have and how you want to feel around the person that you're with, outside forces like social media will always convince you that there's someone better. And even if you actually find someone better, a few months later, you'll again most likely feel the same way. Knowing what you want also helps you establish boundaries. So for example, if a woman does come back to you after she couldn't find somebody better, do you really want to take her back? No. Right away, at least, do you really <coughs> want to be Ever. her second choice? Most Ever. guys will Never. say no, yet so many of them will happily give women, women second chances like this. Just easily give chances. Why? Because they have no real expectations of her. No, they're horny. They want some action. It's a low-hanging fruit. It's come back. It's there on the plate, so they'll take it. You know, that, that's the reason why. And then they get locked in, and straight back into a relationship again, and their relationship goes to shit again. And then they break up again. <laughs> no real boundaries, really no, you know, great thoughts about themselves. As long as she looks hot, she gets a free pass to do anything that she wants. You don't want to be that type of guy because if you are, women will walk all over you, take you for granted, treat yep. you like a, a second option and you'll never find the right woman for you. So it's okay for her to come back. Right? It's okay for her to leave to see other options, but she's got to do some work as well to get you back. It's not just... Yeah, she better be uh, spreading those cheeks, so she better be um, getting that mouth ready. But not, but all seriousness, guys. What I've done in the past, I've had this happen once before, I had someone do the exact same thing to me. And you know what I did? I said, yeah, no problem. We, we got together, we hooked up, and then I never spoke to her again. So suck shit. I did a Steve and Bryce on her because she dumped me pissed off to somebody else, came calling back to me. She said a lot of uh, hurtful, painful things on the way out, said a lot of stupid things. Um, you know, mind you, this was probably 15 years ago. So it was with a lot more immature women, but she said some stupid things and then came running back when she realized she wasn't gonna do better. And then she harassed me, stalked me, used to come to my work. Um, she just followed me around, like we were trying to go to places where she think that I would be, go to my gym, shit like that. Um, so yeah, so what I did is I said, eh, I said, okay, no problem. She came around, did the job, clapped it out and never spoke to her ever again. And that was my way of getting back at her. 
because she'd caused me pain. I guess I wanted to cause her pain, bit of tick for tat. Wouldn't do that again these days, but that is something that I've done. I want you now. You're like, okay, it's, I want you now. Here's why, here's what I've realized. And then she's got to do some work to get you back. And then you can see if you want to open that up again. All right, moving on. Reason number three, she's bored and she wants attention. This is very common. Okay. So this is a, actually, it's a pretty big one. Women will often contact men they rejected in the past just to get attention. She might be feeling down about herself or just plain bored or like a lot of other dating hasn't worked out for her and your name just like pops into her head. So almost impulsively, she picks up her phone and she starts messaging you or she calls you or maybe like even starts flirting with you. She has no intention of giving you a second chance at this point, by the way, but she wants the dopamine hit that comes with hearing back from you and seeing that you as a man are still excited to talk to her. It makes her does it just make you think, why the hell do we bother with all this crap? Like, they're so backwards. And that's why I think men are always, always on the internet looking for answers and, you know, taking advice from this lady and buying her courses and other guys and buying their courses. They're so just backwards. It's very counterintuitive, isn't it? Like, we as men, we're pretty direct, but we're not just, like, we're a straight line. Bang, bang, that's what you get most of the time. But with these chicks, it's like... You know, some guys proclaim to know everything about women and understand. I don't think men will ever truly understand how a woman's mind works. I don't think that women will even know how their own mind works and why they do some things. But even here, like, you can tell this chick here has done all these things before. Her feel wanted and it makes her feel desired. Now, I know that sounds awful and it's definitely not the right thing to do objectively but women will do this men will do this too but women will do this and she will do it out of instinct this is not a carefully thought out plan to hurt you to see what you'll do it's just an impulsive reaction to how she was feeling in that moment the big mistake that guys make in this situation or anytime a woman who rejected them comes back is that they get super excited and they start showering them with attention back. They're like, oh, she wrote to me, I better write back a lot. Because they feel like it's their second chance. They can't, they gotta get it all in. Which is a wrong move. When a woman suddenly reaches back out to you, you don't know if she's actually serious about you. If you start replying to all her messages immediately, putting effort into everything you say, trying to make her laugh and basically try to win her back, she might just take all that attention, be satisfied by it, and then leave you again. The best thing when a woman reaches back out to you is to not give her very much. Keep your conversation with her short and simple. And if you wanna be playful, be playful. Nothing wrong with that. But when she suddenly comes back to you, don't put in too much effort. Effort is- Spot on, spot on. I was actually gonna say the exact same thing and pause it before. I personally wouldn't these days. Uh, I've done it in the past. But yeah, what exactly the approach that I took was, yeah, just to give him basically nothing. Like more or less the cold shoulder. Um, and you know, do it all on your terms. And generally that doesn't work either, or they'll say, oh, why are you cracking your shits, or why are you annoyed at me, or whatever it is. Um, they want you to be instantly forget the past, um, forget um, the reason why uh, they might not be in your life uh, anymore, and they just want to think that they can just squeeze all their way back in, or will be forgotten. Um, so yeah, guys, do it at your own risk once again. Um, but I would say it's always better just to put the effort in with somebody new. Is the key. I look about halfway through, guys, or more than halfway through. So if you're enjoying the channel, uh, please subscribe. And the best way you can help me out is just to watch my videos through to the end. And if you would like, check out the Patreon um, link in the video description. Word. Let her do the work. Let her chase you. Let her show you her real intention. And be slow to decide if she's worth more of your time. Reason number four. She took her time to grow. This one's more on the positive side, right? And this is what you want to be seeing. You see, a lot of a lot of times when women reject you, it has nothing to do with you. Maybe her ex had come back into the picture and she was dealing with her feelings for him. Maybe she had... <sighs> she took some time to grow, you know. She had to find herself. You know, that old one. I need to find myself. Even though she's a dating coach for men, she still was showing just her true, raw nature. And... um it's interesting to see all this stuff come out of her mouth because I think she believes it too. But let's cut the bullshit. A lot of the time women say they're growing or they're healing or they're doing whatever. It's just a cope to not actually um, see you. It's to go and see other men. 
and then eventually oh yeah i went and found myself or you know i worked on my issues which means generally work on their issues means that um brycey works on their issues in the back of the vm on top of the kookaburra pads all right behind the uh, cricket ground behind the pavilion middle of the night not because she just decided you know she went and sat in a monastery somewhere and worked out her inner turmoils and uh, worked on her mental health with um you know yoga and um, meditation spirituality or whatever it is no 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 she just went do what she had to do get it out of her system um that's growing and then now that she's got it out of her system good old sucker you is there and uh she wants to offer up a great deal mr nice guy he had been hurt before and she wasn't ready to date someone new. Maybe she has kids and she felt overwhelmed with everything. Maybe she was focused on her personal goals and actually didn't have the time to date. And maybe now she's had the time to process all of that, grow, heal, and do what she's needed to do. And she's finally at a place where she's ready to pursue a relationship. That said, if a woman ever tells you that she's not ready to date right now, for whatever reason, you don't want to wait for her to get ready. I see guys make this mistake very often and i call it a mistake because waiting for someone who's unavailable makes you miss out on amazing opportunities there exactly. are- it makes you miss out on more chicks to crush in the vn boys waiting you know thinking oh she said she's not ready but if you're a good boy and show her that you're waiting on the sidelines for her to be ready um that then when she is ready she's going to take you no she's just going to overlook you if someone really wants to date you if someone's really in the right mindset they're not going to give you any bullshit excuses tell come on now be, be honest guys if there's ever been a girl out there you've been really attracted to and she wants to go out with you and all of that, would you say, and you just, maybe you weren't even feeling like you were looking for it, would you say to her, nah, I'm not ready? No, you wouldn't. So if someone likes you, you're never going to cop any bullshit. It's all cope. It's all ways of letting you down, maybe lightly, but not realizing that they're keeping you on the hook. I think sometimes they even know they're keeping dudes on the hook. Um, and guys who will put up with that shit, that's a lot of dudes who will keep sniffing around, thinking that they're working on it. My friend Larry does that. Um, he gets girls, put them on the back burner, and he thinks that he's working like a scam on them. And he was telling me that's his game. You know, he gets in and he, and he once he gets in, he gets through the friends, and then he starts talking to them, and then he integrates, and he states a lot of contact with them. Like not really, not understanding that's like the wrong way to go about it completely. Supposed to do the opposite of those things if you want a woman to be attracted to you. But that's what a lot of guys do. That's why, I, and I'm not making fun of him. I'm just using him as an example because he does those things. There are other women who are as attractive as her, have similar qualities, and are ready to date you. But if you never put yourself out there because you're waiting for this one girl, you're going to never meet these amazing women. Women who are more suitable for you, maybe, right? So if she's not ready to date, don't waste your time. Go meet other women. Go out. Reason number five, second guessing. As a woman, I can tell you that we overthink a lot. We overthink and we overanalyze things and many times we'll go back and forth about a decision that we've made and worried that worried that we got it wrong. So this applies to dating and relationships too, right? This is a decision. A woman- Once again, women aren't making good at making decisions and um, they operate on emotion. So basically what all this video has told us that they're up and down with their emotions and they're changing their mind with the wind based on how they're feeling on the day. That's it. So once again, people think that they know women, blah, 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 blah. You, you, you can't predict what a woman's going to do based on just the emotions. They just do shit. They just act on it. She might hate you one day, loves you the next day. Women might reject you or end things with you and then spiral into an overthinking frenzy. I have done this a million times before. She might worry that she made the wrong call. What if you actually were the right guy? What if you were the one for her? What if she doesn't find somebody better? What if, you, again, like, what if you were her soulmate? And this type of thinking just- Her soulmate? They don't believe in that bullshit. Men believe in, bu- in that bullshit. That's what it is, bullshit. Soulmates and the one and all that. Women don't think like that. They want to get the, you know, this has been said a million times. I don't need to say it. I'm not a dating coach, guys. I'll just tell you based on my experiences. They want to get the best option they can get. And there's nothing wrong with that. So don't think there's any soulmate bullshit and there's anything like in the movies, you know, like you see those movies they put out where there's the nerdy guy and the hot chick and she's out with some bad boyfriend and then eventually she realizes that that best friend of hers, no, she really loved him. He's her soulmate. Oh my God. And they're running through the airport trying to stop planes and get on and there's all this romance and bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's in movies. It's like you may as well watch Star Wars. It's, it's basically, what's this video saying? Women are unsure of their decisions. You, know, you can't predict what they're going to do. 
Uh, they can't. They have no real loyalty or integrity for the most part. And there's no accountability. Make one decision, fuck off, come back three months later with a tail in between their legs to see to sniff things around. A lot of regret. They make decisions on emotion. Then they regret the decision. Or they've gone out um, and tested the market and the market um, testing didn't go so well for them. And so they think they can come back to, to you because you actually were the best she could do. She tested it unsuccessfully and now she's got to accept those circumstances. But a lot of guys will go, oh yeah, you know, we broke up and I've heard a guy saying, oh no, I went up with a girlfriend and we, we, had a, we had a break and you know, then she was with somebody else but then that didn't work out and then we got together and we've been better than ever. And I said to myself, are you fucking for ser- are you serious that you've accepted that? That a girl that was your girlfriend has fucked you off to go and bang another dude. It didn't work out. She got her rocks off, realised, yeah, that guy wasn't suitable. Maybe you're more stable and reliable. Not the, not the guy she wanted, just a stable and reliable guy who actually hang around. Because generally the guys, I've been that guy, Bryce Stevo. they go and bang you and you fuck them off. Because you know what they are. Like womanizers know about women. It's always like being a pimp. You just know about their behaviours. You see the worst of it, and you see it, you know, very frequent, uh, very frequently. That's why I made this channel because a lot of bullshit out there. I'll just tell you exactly what happens. I'm not a dating coach. I'm not a marriage counsellor. I'm not a relationship coach. I'm just a guy with a microphone um, with a bit of experience. You're just telling you how it is and analysing other people's bullshit prompts her to reach back out to you because she's just like so confused hoping to give things another shot interestingly enough this is actually more common with women who are very attractive and have a lot of options right so why why because studies show that more options makes people less sure about the choices that they make so a woman who has lots of options will worry and overthink her choices even more even though that sounds totally counterintuitive. Reason number six, you're with someone new. I've said this a million times before and I will say it again. Very true. I've had this back in the days when I had social media and I'll put up the, or I'll put a picture with someone or someone has put up a picture of me and tagged me and then someone else has seen it. They come in, they start poking around wanting information, trying to understand who's this new girl on the market. Women want men who are wanted by other women. It's just in our nature to feel attracted to a man who's in demand. I mean, guys are like that too, right? This is why so many times a woman might reject you or break up with you, but then a few weeks or months later, she sees a picture of you with a new woman on your arm. I feel the heartbreak because I've felt this before or hears from someone that you're dating somebody new and all of a sudden- a... They are mental. This chick's mental. That's like. Almost like children. They're basically the minds of children in adult bodies with a set of tits on it. It's like, <laughs> yeah, but even if she's probably 50 carrying on like this. Which flips in her head and she starts wanting you. She starts thinking about you. This is also why you'll see some guys constantly date the hottest women and have women chasing him relentlessly, even if you're not physically attractive rich or high status, right? What happens here is that they start getting attention from one attractive woman, which is like vouching for him, or they or they start dating her, and then other women take notice of this and they start flirting with him and they want him and fighting for his attention. It's almost like a, a domino effect. Attention from one hot woman or a few hot women just leads to more and more female attention. And suddenly you have endless options with women now if endless options i'm pretty sure not many guys have endless options i never did i think it, like i know you got to be a top 0.1 percent to have endless options they live in fantasy land i think they don't even understand what it's like to date as a man for the average man you know, they're talking about the top hot guys they're not talking about the average guy she says, no you can't relate here but she's trying and i think she's giving some okay advice but I, I still think it's very surface level is very presumptuous that a guy can just become some super successful dude um, and all of a sudden have his other options and then other chicks can come and chase you that's something that you would like i recommend you click the link in the description box below and check out my top rated program there how to go, become boys. a man women want because this program reveals my proof how to become a man women want written by a woman I don't know, it's not something I don't think I'll buy. 
yeah, how to how to you know become a bodybuilding champion written by the fattest bloke out there. It's like I never understand this, but a lot of guys fall for it because oh, she's a woman, right? So she must know what it's like uh, dating is like for a man. But they only know what dating is like for a man through the lens of their own experiences, like she said. So I look at it in a very skewed way. I've I've had friends, women. Uh, over the years, you know, women that you might have hooked up with and then become friends with when things didn't go seriously. And they try and like give me tips or tell me what it's like for men or tell me what men do. Or, all men do this, or all men do that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're just describing literally the chads that you're chasing around. You're describing uh, the Brycey who's bagged and tagged you. He's successful. He's got a, he's a lawyer. He's got a business. He's a tech guy, whatever they're attracted to. It's got 10 chicks on the go. Not every guy does that. They say, oh, all guys do that. All guys are like this. Why do they do that? No, no, just the guys you're looking at. And it's a lot of these women do all the same things. And then they think that all guys behave like that. And dating um, is um, like a similar experience that women have. There's that level of abundance. <laughs> but it is absolutely not. Anyway, guys, that's enough of ranting for me for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.